Did you ever wonder what it would be like to have your dreams come true? I have. My name is Carly. That's me you're watching on one of my journeys through the woods. I love the woods. It's cool and mysterious there. You can be by yourself and ponder all the mysteries of the universe. Or you could pretend to be a great explorer or a fortune hunter. There's always a chance you might discover something hidden in the woods. Some treasure lost long ago by an Indian or a pirate. This is the story of what happened to my brother, my cousin, and me a few summers ago when I came upon something in the woods. Something sparkling just beneath the leaves on the path ahead. Sometimes I think I should have just left it there. But I couldn't. My cousin Anthony had been running all over the neighborhood that morning looking for me. When he finally found me, I was coming out of the woods with the box. Yo, car, wait up! Hey, car, where you been? I've been looking for you all morning. Hi, Aunt. Where'd you get that? I found it buried in the woods. Is there anything inside of it? I don't know. It's locked. Let's go take it home and fly it open. Okay. That morning, my brother Joey was hiding in the backyard smoking a cigarette, just as Anthony and I came home with the box. Little did we know he was spying on us. Little did he know his smoking days were numbered. What, what do you think's inside? Maybe it's treasure. I don't hear anything. Whoa, look at this guy on top of the box. Maybe it's the protector or whatever's inside. Why don't you ask him? Okay, I will. O protector of the box, O keeper of the lid, what is inside? Nothing! Joey! Sorry, just had to be done. Let's see what you got. Where'd you get this, man? Look, there's an inscription. It's kind of dirty, though. Let's take it inside and clean it up.
that I do it. It says, Heed these words upon the box. Please leave it where it lies. I warn thee, thee dare, dare not, not open it, for troubles, troubles locked, locked inside. I say we open the box. Yeah, I say we open the box. But you just read the warning. You don't know what's gonna happen, Joe. Yeah, you don't know what's gonna happen, Joe. Shut up. Look, I don't believe you guys are seriously telling me you believe that bull. Yeah, you believe that bull? Look, I find this box buried in the woods, and I discover it has a demon flying through the sky and graved in the lid, and an inscription telling us not to open it. And you're telling us that we shouldn't be afraid to open it? Yeah, what she said. Shut up. Okay, don't open it. It's your box, not mine. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. I would like to know what was inside it, though. Screwdriver. Come on, Joey, open it. I'm growing a beard. That would be an improvement. Here, Joey, use this. I want to open it, not ruin it. I met on your head. It's very funny. Would you write that one yourself? Yeah, I did. Do you want to shave first? Joe, sure, stop kidding. I'll tell Mom where your cigarettes are. All right, all right. Shh. Oh, 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 oh. Close it! New Jersey. Who are you? I am the dream giver. Yeah, bad dreams. I can turn fantasy to reality. I can see the past and the future. I can control the weather. I can talk to the animals. I can breathe water, fire, and air. I can fly. I can grant each of you a desire. It cannot be for money. It cannot be for another. And it cannot be for all your wishes to come true. This I grant you for releasing me. You have only to speak your wish aloud, and it will come true. But be forewarned, a heart's desire once granted cannot be undone. <laughs> All we could think of is what we were going to wish for. We planned to meet that afternoon in the backyard to decide. Where you been? I had to go get a haircut. What do you want to wish for? I don't know. I can't decide. You mean you're afraid to decide? Maybe I am. But you heard what he said. Once you wish, it can't be undone. Maybe he's trying to warn us not to make a stupid wish. What do you mean a stupid wish? Like, uh... I wish I was this pack of cigarettes. <laughs> My God, look at me! Come on, you know I didn't mean that. Man, I don't believe this. Car, Rick, get me out of this, God. What do we want to do? I don't think there's anything we can do. Oh, man, don't say that. Wish me back. I wish Joe. No, Aunt. You don't know what's going to happen. No, right, right. Yeah, and when you guys are thinking about it, I'll be here hoping that Mom and Dad don't see how much I've changed this summer. Or, or even worse yet, they might smoke me. Joey, don't be a butthead. You know she's right. If you would have been more careful, we wouldn't have been in this mess. Yeah, I know, I know. But 
Please, guys, think of something quick. I'm starting to get itchy. And I'm getting hungry. To be hungry at a time like this. Easy. My stomach starts rumbling and I head for the kitchen. Yeah, I could use some lunch too. It will help us think. Hey, what am I supposed to do? Don't leave me here. Don't worry, Joey. I'll take you with us. I guess it was only a matter of time until Anthony or I made the next careless statement. But I didn't think it would happen so soon. I wish I was an Oscar Mayer wiener. I think I goofed. Oh no, not you too. Hey, come on, let me out of here. I want to see what happened to Anthony. Well, duh. Ah, shut up, butthead. Well, you are what you eat, wiener. Smokers who know, smoke Big Joe. Oh, yeah? Well, how's it feeling there with all those ground-up eyeballs and horse lips? At least I wasn't fed manure. Yeah, well, at least I won't wind up manure. Come on, you guys. You know we don't have time for this. Time. Yeah, that's it, time. I wish it was this morning before I found the box. <laughs> Once you she can't be on guard. She can't be on guard. Nothing venture, nothing gain. Nothing venture, nothing gain. I never go near the place where I found the box.